Well, welcome everybody to the preview of the first grade one race at the historic Saratoga meet Scott Shapiro and Darren Zocali joining you for twin spires and Scott, we are talking about the grade one Diana, a historic race that in recent years and this year being no exception could be labeled the Chad Brown invitational. I was going to say the Chad Brown invitational good to be back with you, Darren, after a spring of uh, kind of doing our own things, different parts of the country and super excited for this Saratoga meet as always. And, kicks off with that Diana, like you said, four of the six runners in here trained by the aforementioned Chad Brown. He's won five of the last six renditions of this race, but he didn't win last year. It was Alfika that got the job done, but uh, he obviously holds a very strong hand in here. Out of the $500,000 purse, I think the over under for Chad Brown purse earnings is about 457,000. So <laughs> we'll see how it shakes out here. Uh, obviously we have to start talking with uh, Bleecker Street. Bleecker Street came into the New York undefeated but untested in grade one competition chad brown himself said before the race that everything he's asked of her she just continues to step up and surprise him a little bit and he thought she deserved this opportunity and what do you know she got the job done you're not going to get that five to two price anymore though that's gone he's she's the six to five morning line favorite to keep that undefeated streak going she's been awesome she won two back uh, in the modesty on the uh, kentucky oaks undercard and did so taking advantage of the right part of the turf course that day but she she didn't have things necessarily her way in the New York. She did follow Rogier, who's the uh, one of the other Chad Brown runner, runners in here. But Rogier disappointed. Bleecker Street did not. She'll need pace to chase, but she should get it. She is the likeliest winner. And that pace to chase, is it's an interesting conversation for this race because the pace is going to come from two Chad Brown runners. Technical analysis to the inside and in Italian to the outside. They bookend the field. They both want to be, I would even venture to say, on the lead as they seemingly do their best running when they do get to the front. So you have to look at it from an interesting standpoint. Do the two Chad Brown runners go head to head here and set things up for one of the other Chad Brown runners? Is it a rather slow pace? Does one of them get an easy lead with the other one sitting back stalking second? After I watched the Ortiz brothers duel themselves into a defeat in a couple of grade ones at the Belmont meet, I, I really can't look at intangibles when handicapping the race. I think both these horses want to go fast and they want to be on the front. I think Delica too will be involved early and I uh, doubt Al Stahl who brings the long shot in from Kentucky. The six-year-old mayor wants to sit back and watch Chad take it to him. So I would think the pace should be honest. That being said, I don't see technical analysis and in Italian, both being overly aggressive. I think they'll try to sit one, two with maybe Delica in the middle. And I did land on in Italian in here, Darren, the pace is a little murky and I'm a little bit concerned that in Italian will uh, get a little bit dueled into defeat or we'll have to go a little bit quick early, but I thought she ran very well last time they battled early. She tired late, but not nearly as much as the other speed in the grade one, just a game on the Belmont undercard. And then in the Disturf, Distaff Turf Mile, she lost nothing in defeat, losing to Speak of the Devil. She hasn't had absolutely favorable race shape. She will need one to uh, get to the wire first against her stable mates, but I do think she should provide pretty good value. Yeah, I definitely agree. Uh, I went to a different Chad Brown runner, and my, my thinking here is rather simplistic. I tried to beat Rougier in the New York because she was three to five. And I didn't think she was that much of a standout stepping up to grade one competition off of an impressive and visually impressive win with a scintillating turn of foot in the bouquet. I was hoping family way came back here because I bet her in the New York and I was looking forward to betting her again in the Diana, but Rougier now is three to one kind of falls into the not focal point of the Chad Brown runners with Bleecker street now being the favorite and I think maybe she just regressed or bounced a little bit off that huge effort in the Bogey. And maybe that race is just not really an, an indication of her actual ability. And, and it wouldn't shock me at all if she could step back forward here. I think she gets first run on Bleecker Street. And I think she's going to run much better here. I'll definitely buy her at three to one as opposed to the three to five last time. I think she bounces back as well. We, you know, you talk about it a lot as a handicapping angle. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. The Euro bounce when they run a huge race first in the States. And uh, I think that might've happened with her. She was just absolutely flat in the New York. I expect her to bounce back. I was between my top selection and yours as a top pick. I'll probably use them both. I respect Bleecker Street a lot, but if she's going to be even money or something, I do think the others provide much better value. And if they're three to one and six to one at post time, that would make for a very interesting exact to play as well. So one way or another, this race goes through Chad Brown. We think he's got pretty much locked up from all the angles uh, for Scott. He likes number six in Italian. I'm on number four, Rougier. Best of luck in the Diana. Thanks so much for joining us and enjoy all of the championship racing all meet long at Saratoga. And remember to play with us at Twin Spires.